Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My God. Good morning, everybody. I am, uh, oh. Welcome to Coffee Talk. Candace. That is great news, Candace. That, that would make my whole day, maybe my whole week. I'm so tired. Get a puppy, they said. It'll be so fun, they said. He'll be so cute, they said. It'll be so good for your kids, they said. Get a puppy, they said. I'm exhausted. I am exhausted. I, it is like having a newborn. Newborn. Uh, um, I'm crate training. It doesn't matter. They're little. They have to get up to go to the bathroom. So he's in the crate, but it doesn't matter. When he has to go, he cries in the crate, and I have to get up and take him out of the crate. He's in the crate, though. Um, I don't know how people train puppies with no crates. You all are savages. You could do that. Um, I should have rescued a two-year-old boxer. I should not have listened to Olivia. Don't. I don't mean that. I'm glad I listened to Olivia, but it's a lot of work. Um, anyway, how exciting that Breaking In was nominated for, uh, a People's Choice Award. I'm going to post the link today so you can vote. If you would vote, if everybody that watched Coffee Talk voted like two times, that would be amazing. Um, please vote. Uh, it would be, it would be huge for me. Huge. Um, all right, so somebody brought something to my attention, and I wanted to bring it to your attention. So yesterday I talked about, I can't remember, but I remember, oh, yesterday I talked about being tested. Uh, oh, Knox is 10 weeks old today. Okay. Anyway, I talked about being tested yesterday, um, and... Uh, I talked about the girl from the magazine and somebody asked me, didn't you have any warning signs? That situation was unique in that she moved to Birmingham from nowhere. She, she moved into town. No one knew anything about her. And the people, the few people that did know things about her didn't talk. They kept it to themselves because they thought that what she had done to them was unique to them, not unique to her. So no. However, with generic Sally Field, everybody warned me. Everybody warned me. I got warnings from so many people, but I was in such defense mode. And listen, I don't regret it because at the end of the day, generic Sally Field, she needed me. She needed me. They were going to run her out of town with like pitchforks and torch tiki torches look like a damn white people in new balance march okay so at the end of the day oh helen you're good helen you're good um at the end of the day did it hurt the way it all ended up yes did it break my heart yes was i was my mind blown Yes. Was I warned crystal clear about who she was? Yes. Did people that I didn't even know and people I did know say, you're fooling yourself? Yes. So when it all happened to me, I was like, she lied. 
She lied to me about who she was. She misled me. She let me believe she was my best friend. She blah, blah, blah. No, no. No, 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 no. Yes, that is true. She lied. But I lied to myself about who she was. I lied to myself. All the warning signs were there. All of them. The warning signs and the warnings. So when I think about some of, hold on. When I think about some of, um, um, some of what you guys write to me about guys that you're dating, dating and, um, girls that you're dating or friends with or people that you're, you know, so often when we get hurt by them, we feel betrayed, right? We go, they lied, what, they are, they're misleading, they're whatever. Um, and you have to ask yourself, did they lie or did you lie to yourself about who they were? Because the only way you can really heal is, hold on, y'all, it's super annoying, but I got to block people. Okay. The only way that you can really heal is if you are honest about what you allowed, what you saw, what you ignored, okay? And I understand. It doesn't change the hurt. It doesn't change the disappointment. It doesn't change the, the feeling that you were duped, okay? Um, but if you're going to heal, you have to be honest about who was really doing the lying. Was it them or was it you? Because we love to lie to ourselves about who people are. We love that. We love to tell ourselves, um, we love to overlook things and ignore red flags. And when people warn us about people, we love to think that we are enough to change them, guys and girls. I, when people warn me about Sally Field, I was like, no, she needs me. I'm, I'm the savior. I'm going to save her. I'm going to fix her. I'm going to help her. I'm going to take her to the next level. Oh, I take I took her to the next level, okay. Uh-huh. I sure did. And she next leveled all over my face. And that is the truth. And I lied to myself. That's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. So as mad as I was at her... Literally, people from the community, when it all went down, was like, we told you. We warned you. I was like, I know. Okay? I didn't want to listen because I thought that I was special enough to be the one that would be different with her. But the truth is, when somebody shows you who they are, when someone shows the world who they are, you, we got to stop thinking we're special enough to make a difference. Because in some ways we are, but in a lot of ways we're not. And that's just, that's just a, a fact. And listen, like, are there, are there times where people say things about someone and you're getting outdated information and that person has grown and they're not that same person anymore and you take a chance on them and it all works out? Yes. But that's the exception, not the norm. Because the I told you so sucks. The I told you so sucks. Because you realize how much could have been prevented. 
That's the thing. You realize how much hurt and not the hurt doesn't always just involve you. The hurt sometimes involves other people. And you realize that you allowed that. You let that snake into your life. You open the door and welcome them in. And that hurt hurts other people. Anyway, the only way to heal, at least for me, was to acknowledge that I had done a lot of the lying to myself. That is just the truth. Did she lie about who she was? Who knows? I saw what I wanted to see. That's just the truth. And I did a lot of lying to myself. A lot. Um, all right. I am going to, um, I don't know, try to motivate. I'm so tired. Um, it's Thursday. I have to be honest. We're supposed to go on date night and I don't know if I'm going to make it. I love you guys so much today. I love you. Have a great, great day.